All right, so we got something to talk about today. Why would I buy the Sony a7 IV if, according to me, specs don't matter? Pretty much any camera you use that was made recently anyway is going to be good enough. Even some of the old ones are perfectly fine for some projects. So in that little video, really more what I was getting at was that you don't need the best camera. If you can only use an a6000 of some type and that's all you got, you'll do fine. But if it makes sense to you and you can afford it, then why not do it? But hey, if you want to upgrade, do it. Like, by all means, it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. But that's only if you really see the upgrades being a really good advantage to you and not just something that you just want. And the only reason I even really got this camera in the first place was because I got a really good deal on Adorama because I traded in all of my old Canon gear and a couple old Sony lenses. So the price of it went way down. I think I paid like 800 bucks for the Sony. So it wasn't that bad at all. For me, 800 bucks for this big of an upgrade, not a big deal. But obviously some of the reasons that I bought this was the specs like 10 bit 422, 4K60 at 10-bit 422 with a 1.5 times crop. It has fully touch screen. It's just a really nice camera. And all these things that I have now, I enjoy them and I use them every time I use the camera. That 10-bit really comes in clutch. 4K60 is nice. Even though it has the crop, it is really nice to have. Oh, and we can't forget about that eye tracking autofocus in video. That's another really big deal to me because it just really makes sure that your eyes in focus. The a7C has that too, but it's just, I'm glad that this kept that because if it didn't have it that would have been an automatic deal breaker for me but also this camera does have good photo specs like 33 megapixels and blah 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 you know just all the good specs it's not all about specs when we're talking about cameras here but all these specs that i have in this camera are things that i really really wanted to improve my workflow and now i don't have to upgrade a camera for a really long time yeah there's other cameras that have better specs but these specs are pretty much everything I really need to do anything that I do, including photo or video. So it's a good hybrid for me. So buying this camera was a good long-term investment for me, especially for $800, because it really future-proofed me and made sure you're not gonna need another camera for a long time. You don't just grow out of a camera like this, and a camera like this isn't gonna go obsolete next year. The a7 III didn't go obsolete for years. People still use it to this day and buy it, so I don't see why people wouldn't be buying this camera four years from now, this new a7 IV. Well, I didn't have to in the first place, but you get what I'm saying. It just has everything I need or want. It's great for photos and videos, so what else could I ask for? Well, uh, 4K 60 with no crop. I don't even care about the 120, man. You could have just gave me 4K 60. 60, no crap. I understand the sensor readout is 7K downsampled. It, it makes it too hard on the camera. I get it. I get it. It's okay. It's okay. It's still good 4K and it's 10 bit. And that's what I was worried about. So now you're probably thinking, why didn't you just get the a7S III? I mean, it's got 4K 120, no crop, or maybe, you know, 10% crop, something like that. A little crop, but nothing crazy compared to this 1.5 times crop at 4K 60. Well, that upgrade was not worth $1,000 to me. Like, did I want it? Yes. But it was not worth $1,000 to me. And plus, this has the better photo specs than the a7S III. And I'm also going to be using this for photography just as much as videography because I enjoy doing both. I'm not really one over the other. I go through phases where I am. Like, I'll do more video a couple months, do more photo a couple months. It's just how I've always been ever since I started this journey of all of this stuff. So for me, getting a focused camera on one thing might not be the better idea. So a hybrid for me is a good thing, just a good balance. And that's what the Sony a7 IV is to me. Everybody has their own opinion, but that's mine. I hope that audio sounded good because uh, we're in a really echoey room right now. Got the laugh, that's all I can say. We will see.